Monster Jam fans, welcome out here to Minneapolis, Minnesota for the next stop here on Stadium Championship Series East. But before we can begin this evening's Monster Jam action, we'd love to thank all those who have served our country. Monster Jam is to go right here in the USA. And we're super grateful and thankful to the greatest nation on earth and we celebrate its strengths freedom, and resilience to do all of these shows for you fans in attendance. If you serve in the United States military, whether it be the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, or Coast Guard, please rise and thank you for your service. God bless the United States of America. Presenting our nation's colors, this is Avengers Racing and the Steel Titans Sports League. Everybody, please go check out these channels as they are really cool. Now, everybody, please rise and remove your caps for the singing of our national anthem by Avengers Racing. Mm-hmm. 
Minneapolis, Minnesota, get long, stay with me because this is Monster Jam. Mm Coming out to the track first, your 2023 Arena Championship Series West winner out of Ayers, Texas, representing Monster Jam's newest truck. This is Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. <laughs>
Coming out to the track next, representing being in the home of great clips, representing the Mohawk Nation, this is Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Coming out to the track last year, 2023 Stadium Championship Series Blue Champion, representing the black and green wrecking machine, this is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Mm -hmm. Minneapolis, get loud because this is Monster Jam. Monster Jam fans, it's now time for our first competition here of the evening. The JCB Racing Competition. Each driver is going to compete head-to-head -head in a one-on-one -on -one elimination tournament, where the winner of each race will advance on to the next round, culminating to the final round race on the road to Monster Jam World Finals 24. From Mr. Wolf Falls 25 in Inglewood, California at SoFi Stadium. So, Minneapolis, get them out if you're ready for the JCB Racing Competition. Coming out first out of Osteen, Florida, this is Nick Aguilarulo in Kraken. Versus in the other lane, your three time World Finals champion, this is Todd LeDuc in Megalodon. Who will get the win and advance on to. The round two, let's find out. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. And your winner is going to be Todd LeDuc in Megalodon. Next up out of Fort Bill, Indiana, representing the Crazy Bull, this is Jamie Gardner and El Toro Loco. Where's the other lane? Out of Deltona, Florida, this is Matt Pagley, Rulo, and Jester. Who will get the win and go on to round two? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, it's a go. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And Matt with a crazy crash and lot from Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco to get the win. Next up out of El Paso, Texas, representing the Lucas Oil Products, this is Lindsey Reed in Lucas Stabilizer. Versus in the other lane, out of the metal shop from Del Mar, Delaware, this is Ryan Disharoon in Shaker. Who will get the win and advance on to the round two? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Almost like a collision 
Jason Wright's camera, Ryan Hitchburn and Shaker will get the win. Next up, next up we've got Cole Venardi in the Black Pearl versus John Gordon in Bad Company. This is the final race out here of round number one. Who will go to round number two? Let's find out. Here we go on your market set. Go. Mm, 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 mm. Your winner is going to be Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl. Mm -hmm. It is now time to kick off round two here of the JCB Racing Competition. Coming out first, advancing in from round one, this is Todd LaDuke in Megalodon. First in the other lane out of Axton, Illinois, filling in for his father who's injured. This is Colton Eichelberger in Max D. Who will get the win and advance on to the semi-finals, let's find out. Here we go, on your market set, go. An easy win for Todd LaDuke as Colton Eichelberger will crash. Next up, advancing in from round one, this is Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. Versus in the other lane, representing the black and green wrecking machine, this is Tyler Medinga in Grave Digger. We'll get the win and advance on to the semifinals. Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your winner is going to be Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Next up, out of Paris, Texas, representing for Monster Jam's newest truck, this is Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. Coming out in. Versus in the other lane, advancing in from round one, this is Ryan Disharoon in Shaker. Who will get the win and advance on to the next round, the semifinals. Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, to set, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First name with a bad, fast ass will get the win and defeat Ryan Disharoon in shape. Next up, advancing in from round one, this is Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl. Versus in the other lane, representing the Mohawk Nation in the home of Great Clips. And this is Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. And we'll get the win and advance on to the semifinals. This is the last race of round two. Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Bryce nearly collides into Black Pearl, but Bryce Kenny will still get the win anyway. Nice job for Great Cuts Mohawk Warrior. It is now time to kick off the semifinals out here with Todd LaDuke in Megalodon versus Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger, who will advance on and go. To the final round, let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Todd making some big mistakes out here. He was going fast, but made some mistakes, which will allow for Tyler Meninga and Grave Digger to get the win. Who's going to go to the final round to face off against Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger? Will it be Tristan England in the JCB Digatron? Or will it be Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not oh, crazy race right there. And looking at the footage here, your winner is going to be Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. Mm
Monster Jam fans, we've made it to the final round out here in tonight's JCB racing competition. We started off the night with one of the fastest Monster Jam competitors, and we've now made it to the fastest two. Minneapolis, are you ready to meet our final round contenders? Coming out first out of Paris, Texas. Representing Monster Jam's newest truck, this is Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. Versus in the other lane, representing the black and green wrecking machine out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, this is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Who will get the win and get the first 12 points here of the night? Let's find out. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Man, just is running bad fast all night, but sadly he just messes it up in the burn, which will allow for your winner to be none other than Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Congratulations, congratulations to Tyler Meninga and Grave Digger for this JCB racing competition win. You know, Tyler hasn't had the best of seasons when it comes to racing. And, you know, he's only, I believe the only main racing win he's gotten so far this season was back in Madeira Beach. He may have gotten more than that, but, you know, Tyler these past couple weeks has definitely been struggling with racing. And, you know, it's really nice to get a racing win out here as he continues to expand his points lead out here to try to get another series championship. Jam fans, it is now time for our second competition here of the... Night, the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Each driver is going to get two opportunities to perform their best maneuvers on two wheels, or they can do a donut. Two and two of the maneuvers you may see these drivers out here on this track are slap wheelies, sky wheelies, stoppies, moonwalks, poppers, bicycles, or maybe even a combination of these moves. So, Minneapolis, get loud if you're ready for the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Coming up first out of Osteen, Florida, this is Nick Aguilar Rulo in Kraken. Stoppy moonwalking it up the pad. And as they're walking that wheelie all the way back up, one more attempt left to go. A nice slap wheelie, and that's going to be down the run now here for Nick Pegley and Rulo in Kraken. Nick Pegley and Rulo in Kraken is going to be an 8.470. That is going to be their leader to kick things off out here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Coming out next, out of Osteen, Florida, this is Matt Pagley Ruo in Jester. <laughs> He is going to nail it. Nice donut iron for Matt Pagley, Rulo, and Jester. Score for Matt Pagley, Rulo, and Jester is going to be an 8.468. That is going to get enough for second place. Your leader is still going to remain his son, Nick Pagley, Rulo, and Kraken. Coming out next, representing for Lucas Oil Products, this is Lindsay Reed and Lucas Stabilizer. Mmm, 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 mmm. Everybody get those trucker arms going. Mm-hmm. 
Nice reverse wheelie. One more attempt left to go out here for Lindsey Reed. She's going to set it down and now off that big Skyly off the car and that's going to be the end of the run out for Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer. The score for Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer is going to be a 7.990. Good enough for third place. Your leader is going to remain Nick Pagliarulo and Kraken. Coming up next on Iron Georgia, this is John Gordon and Bad Company. Nice there, bicycle. One more attempt left to go. Nice popper, and that's gonna be the end of the run out for John Gordon in Bad Company. Mm -hmm. Score four. John Gordon in Bad Company is gonna be an eight point one one two. Good enough for third place. Your leader sooner main Nick Pagley Rulo in Kraken. Coming out next, out of Paxton, Illinois, this is Home Nikenberger and Max D. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, Colton's doing it just like how his father was doing a nice, a nice maximum moonwalk here off the pack flip ramp. But he's doing this in a CRD, which is really tough to do since the CRD chassis have their engine in the rear compared to in the front like Tom Mensa's chassis. So this is really impressive out here for, Col for Colton. And he's gonna set it down. One more attempt left to go. Nice here, Stoppy. Getting a nice little combo into a wheelie, and that's going to begin to run out of Colton Ackerberger and Max D. Austin, your jam fan, your score four. Uh, Cole Nikenberger and Max D's gonna be an 8.466, good enough for third place. Your leader is still gonna remain Nick Pagley Rule. Oh, second place. Um, that was third because it says Jester has a 6.8, so it is technically it is third. So third place out for Cole Nikenberger and Max D. He, um, your leader is gonna remain Nick Pagley Rule and Kraken. Coming out next, out of Fort Bill, Indiana, representing the Crazy Bull, this is Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. Mm, 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 mm. that smoke has an also getting himself ready for his skills challenge run. Mm, that smoke out of the nostrils. Mm, 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 Nice little slap wheeling in out here. One more attempt left to go. Nice little popper, and that's gonna be the end of the run out here from Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco.
Mm -hmm. Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco is locked in. It's going to be an 8.100. Good enough for fifth place. Your leader is still going to remain Nick Aguilarulo and Kraken. Coming out next out of the metal shop from Del Mar, Delaware, Mrs. Ryan Disaroon in Shaker. He's gonna set it down one more attempt left to go. Next up, Hopper, and that's going to be the end of the run. Ryan Dishroon and Shaker. Ryan Dishroon and Shaker is going to be a 7.861. Good enough for 7th place. Your leader is still going to remain Nick Aguilar, Rulo, and Kraken. Coming out next, this is Colt Denard in the Black Pearl. Mmm, mmm, First popper slapping it across the track. One more attempt left to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next bite begin to run out of Cold Denard in the Black Pearl. Mm -hmm. Score four. Cold Denard in the Black Pearl is giving eight point one zero one. Good enough for sixth place. Your leader is going to remain Nick Pagliarulo and Kraken. Coming out next, your three time world finals champion. This is Togla Duke in Megalodon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm a bicycle into a save out here for Togla Duke. One more attempt left to go. Wow, what a first attempt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, they're bicycling it into a moonwalk. Mm -hmm. He's gonna set it down, and that's gonna be the end of the run out after Todd Leduke and Megalodon. Score for Todd Leduke and Megalodon is gonna be a 9.226. Your brand new leader is going to be Todd Leduke and Megalodon. Coming out next, representing the Mohawk Nation in the home of Great Clips. This is Bryce Tenney in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Moonwalk combo up the pod. He's gonna set it down. One more attempt left to go. Stoppy Moonwalk into a wheelie combo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's gonna set it down, and that's gonna be the end of the run out of Bryce Kenny and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Score four. Bryce Kenny and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior is gonna be an 8.751. That's gonna be getting up for second place. Your leader is gonna remain top with Duke in Megalodon. Coming out next out of Eric, Texas, representing Monster Jam's newest truck, this is Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. 
Nicer tombstone off the eight pack. Gonna set it down one more attempt left to go. Set it down, that's when we began to run out here for Tristan England and the JCB Digatron. For Tristan England and the JCB Digatron, it's gonna be an 8.899. Getting up for second place, your leader is still gonna remain top of Duke in Megalodon. Coming out last, representing the black and green wrecking machine, this is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. <laughs> Nice, there's got a bicycle into a moonwalk. You've been getting a combo into a little wheelie. Wow, nice their job. One more attempt left to go. That's another bicycle on the sidewall, and that's gonna be the end of the run out of here for Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Monster Jam fans, your score for Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger is gonna be a 9.230, which means your Great Click Skills Challenge winner is gonna be none other than Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Nice job out for Tyler Meninga and Grave Digger for this win. You know, Tyler, you know, he's so far off to a hot streak out here tonight. You know, these past couple of overall event championship wins have been won by Max D with Tom Ment. You know, Tom out for the rest of the season with an injury. Um, you know, this is allowing um, you know, Tyler Meninga to come out here and start getting some points back and getting some much needed points. And they needed to continue to expand his lead over Max D with Tom Mentz. So, you know, great job out here for Tyler Meninga. He had two solid bicycles. One he comboed into a moonwalk, and the other one he comboed into a sidewall. So, you know, just great job out here for Tyler Meninga. And great job against the first two competition wins here of the night. It is now halftime, everybody. So, everybody go get your... Food, your drinks, your snacks, and get up and stretch and come back in half an hour for the final competition of the night, the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Monster Jam fans, it is now time for our final competition here of the night, the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Each driver is going to get two minutes to tear up the track to do the biggest and best moves. Some of the stuff you may see these drivers do out here on this track are donuts, technical maneuvers, huge air, crazy saves, a backflip, amazing wild crazy new we've never even seen before. Stuff the judges are looking for judging these freestyle runs are creativity, momentum, flow, breathtaking saves, huge vertical air, wild factors, the use of all obstacles, and the completion of the time. If your driver is not complete the first 30 seconds of the run, they'll be unable to qualify for a score. So, Minneapolis, get loud for me one last time if you're ready for the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. 
Coming out first, your three-time World Finals Champion, this is Aqua Duke in Megalodon. Be the end of time out here for Todd Duke in Megalodon. So Todd Duke in Megalodon is going to be an 8.607. That is going to be your leader to kick things off out here in the BKT Tires freestyle competition. Coming out next out of Iron Georgia, this is John Gordon in Bad Company. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Nice and slap to kick off the run. Company. Score for John Gordon in Bad Company is going to be a 9.010. That is going to be good enough for the lead. Your brand new leader is going to be John Gordon in Bad Company. Coming out next out of the metal shop from Del Mar, Delaware, this is Ryan Disharoon in Shaker. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Ryan Dishroon and Shaker is going to be an 8.605 in up for third place. Nearly in return to remain John Horton and Bad Company. Next up at OC in Florida, this is Matt Aguilarulo in Jester. Backflip ramp. Great, great, they're nailing it. Jester is going to be an 8.999. Ended up for second place. Your leader is going to remain John Gordon in Bad Company. Coming out next, Matt Pagliarulo's son out of Holstein, Florida. This is Nick Pagliarulo in Kraken. <laughs> Back since San Antonio, I think he had a, he had a him and his 
girlfriend had a child over this past month, so Nick stayed home to, to take care of it and allowing Michael to fill in. But now Nick is back and he is ready to shine. Mm, Backflip ramp. He's gonna nail it. Kraken's gonna be a 9.441. Your brand new leader is going to be Nick Pagliarulo in Kraken. Coming out next, representing Monster Jam's newest truck out of Paris, Texas, this is Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. Great mm, 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 mm. slap wheel here for Tristan. Considering Tristan comes from the arenas, that was a pretty good slap wheelie. Mm, 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 mm. Tristan England in the JCB Digatron is going to be a 9.431. That is going to be getting up for second place. Your leader sooner made Nick Hagley reload in Kraken. Coming out next, I have Alpaso Texas representing Lucas Oil Products. This is Lindsay Reed and Lucas Stabilizer. Mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Seconds are left. And you see he's gonna roll it over right there. Nothing to get the run out here for Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer. Your score for Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer is gonna be an 8.711. Good enough for fifth place. Your leader is still gonna remain Nick Pagley Rulo in Kraken. Coming up next, representing the Mohawk Nation in the home of Great Clips. This is Bryce Kenny and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. See what I think the judges are really looking for tonight is huge air and great momentum throughout the whole run. So Bryce Kenny is really gonna need that if he's gonna wanna try to win freestyle out here. These park trucks back here making it really hard to cross over like that, but Bryce Kenny is gonna go ahead and do it. Wow, nice and jump. <laughs> Hey, lining up here for the Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp. Mm. Wow, he's kind of consecutive and he's walking it out on a moonwalk. Wow, Bryce Kenny. Mm, 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 mm. Bryce Kenny just needs to turn it on in these last 30 seconds. Mm, 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 Wow, crazy save. Bryce Kenny is going big. One last hit. And that's going to be the end of the round. I have Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior is going to be a 9.440. Good enough for second place. Your leader is still going to remain to be Nick Pagley Rulo in Kraken. Coming out next, this is Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl. Mm, 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 Wow, crazy save from Paul Bernard. 
30 seconds left. There's no way he's going for it. He failed this two weeks ago. Mm. And he's going to nail it a reverse backflip. Wow, Cole. Cole is just going to burn it down now. Four more competitors, see if he can win freestyle. Coming out next, representing the black and green wrecking machine, this is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Oh, 
off thread. Mmm, mmm, mmm. lining up here for the Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp. And oh my goodness, he's got him into a consecutive on a moonwalk. Wow, Olsen Eichelberger. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. 30 Michael Berger and Max D is going to be a 9.351, good enough for fifth place. Really, you're going to remain Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl. Coming out last, out of Fort Bill, Indiana, representing the Crazy Bull, this is Jamie Garner, El Toro Loco. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that smoke out of the nostrils as he's coming out from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of unusual seeing Jamie Garner come out last. You usually don't see him come out last, but he's coming out last because he ended up winning freestyle back in back in Indianapolis two weeks ago. So you know he's going to come out early because of that win. He's going to come out last because of that win. Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco is going to be at 9.380. Only getting up for fifth place, which means your BKT Tires freestyle winner is going to be none other than Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl. Well, congratulations to Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl on this freestyle win. Cole absolutely burned it down. He had big air, great momentum, crazy saves. He even nailed a reverse backflip, something nobody else has done in quite a long time. So great job out here for Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl for getting his freestyle win. You know, this is Cole Bernard's closest show to home that he is going to do all season long. You know, Cole's out of South Dakota. And, you know, uh, and we're out here in Minneapolis. This is his closest show to home all season long. So great job out here for Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl for getting this BK Tires freestyle win. And I still collect the final 12 points towards this night's, or towards tonight's overall event championship. Once again, congratulations to Cole Bernard for getting the BK Tires freestyle win. Monster Jam fans, your overall event championship winner has been decided. After getting a total of 11 points in the JCB Racing Competition, 10 points in the Great Clip Skills Challenge, and 9 points in the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. 
for a total of 30 points. Your overall event championship winner is going to be none other than Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. Man, what a great weekend out here for Tristan England, who definitely needed this. Tristan, um, you know, Tristan, you know, hasn't had the best of luck he's wanted to in the season. You know, Tristan's always been consistent in racing, great in skills. He has just had lots of struggles knowing freestyle. But I feel like tonight he showed out and he did a good job getting himself in this overall event win. Tristan didn't win any competitions, but yet he was consistent throughout the night and consistency is key. He could win a competition, but if you weren't consistent in the other two, then it's not going to matter. You may not win that overall event championship. So, you know, great job out uh, here for Tristan England in the JCB Digatron for getting this win and for getting his first overall of the season out here. Just great job out here for Tristan England. First overall with JCB Digatron. Just great job out here for Tristan. You know, Tristan is going to be ending that overall event streak between Max D and Gravedigger. All the overalls so far from this season has been dominated by Tyler Meninga and Tom Mentz. Well, Tristan is going to end that here tonight as he'll pick up an overall event championship win. Congratulations to Tristan England. Let's see who will be in your season leader and see how this will impact the season standings. Because that's what we'll be looking at next. Monster Jam fans, that'll be a wrap out here for tonight's event out here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. But everybody, we have determined, in, um, you know, the results from the show. Here are the results from this eve from tonight's show. Here's the results for the JCB Racing Competition in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. And then here is the results from the BKC Tires Freestyle Competition in the Overall Event Championship. Currently in the season standings, Tyler Meninga and Gravedigger will lead the series in first place with first place with 174 points. Second place will be Colton Neifelberger and Max D with 162. Third place will be Tristan England and JCB Digatron with 134. Fourth place will be Colby Nard and the Black Pearl with 130. No, fourth place will be Bryce Kenny and the Great Coast Small Aquarium with 133 points. Fifth place will be Colvinard in the Black Pearl with 131. Um, sixth place will be Todd LeDuc and Megalodon with 118. Seventh place will be John Gordon in Bad Company with 116. Um, eighth place will be Nick Pagliarulo and Kraken with 112 points. Uh, ninth place will be Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco with 97 points. 10th place will be Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer with 82 points. 11th place will be Ryan Disherin and Shaker with 80 points. And then in the last place to round out the bottom will be Matt Pegley, Rulo, and Jesser with 55 points. So, you know, this is definitely very interesting points out here. And Tyler Mendig has only got a 12-point lead over Colton Eichelberger. Seems like a really big rivalry out here between Tyler and Colton. It's a rivalry that lasted through the arena series for quite a couple years. And to see that rivalry back, but now in a stadium, is definitely going to be interesting. Colton is definitely going to work hard to represent for his dad and try to take down Tyler Meninga. Third place in the top, from third place to fifth place, is all really close. They can all change around. Bryce Kenny really wants to try to get third place. You know, try to rise up in the standings out here after a struggling start to the season. He's so close to that third place spot. He's only one point behind Tristan England. He can do this, but it's really close. These three can all get shifted around by the end of the next stop. And then it is close right now in the middle of the pack between Todd LeDuc, Nick Pegliarulo, and John Gordon as only six points separates all those drivers. Tom LeDuc really wants to try to rise up in the standings and try to get a good event going out here. Kind of like he's been having these past couple of weekends. To try to catch up and try to get into the top five out here. He really, really wants that. That you know, he, you know, he's had a pretty good start to the season. He would love to jump up to the top five. 
I mean, he's also going to watch out and make sure he does not fall behind Nick or John, as they're also close behind. Jamie Garner is so close to 100 points. He will probably be guaranteed to get it in the next show, as long as he makes it out onto the track. He should be able to, to uh, get to 100 points. And then it is a battle in the bottom bottom for 10th place in a battle for 9th place between Lindsey Reed and Ryan Disharoon. Lindsey Reed really wants to catch up in the standings. You know, Cynthia Gauthier has gotten 3rd place with Lucas Stabilizer the past 2 seasons. So Lindsey would love to try to rise up and be in that high spot as well. Well, you know, represent for Cynthia while she's gone having her baby. So, you know, Lindsey Reed definitely wants to rise in points. But she's got to watch out. Distrin is also right there. Distrin also wants to rise in the points as well and try to pass Lindsey Reed to get that ninth place, uh, or even to get that tenth place spot. And then lastly, Matt Pagley, Relo, and Jester really want to step up right now. He is struggling in the bottom, went in in um twelve in twelfth place with only fifty five points. He is quite a ways off from. Um, 11th place, Ryan Disharoon. He's really going to have to definitely work hard if he wants to get that, that, if he wants to catch up in the season, not end up in last place. This tour's next stop will not be until, until Monday, March 11th in Orlando, Florida. As with the next couple of stops coming in out here on this tour for the next couple of weeks, you know, we're about to begin the Florida tour or what I would like to call it of shows. All the next, like, I think four shows of the series will be taking place in Florida. They're going to head to Orlando on March 11th. Then St. Patrick's Day weekend, they're going to head to Tampa. Then Easter weekend, they'll head out to Miami and Jacksonville. So, you know, we know this is not going to be their, the drivers here on this tour. It's first time, first show in Florida as that is where we kicked off the series in Florida. You know, being in um, Madeira Beach. So it's nice to see the drivers return back to Florida uh, out here for, <laughs> for some more shows out here with Orlando. Two in Tampa. And then we got Miami and Jacksonville. It's going to be very fun seeing in the Florida tour and the Florida shows out here for this tour. It is definitely going to be epic. And you guys do not want to miss out. So far on this tour, the states we visited for Stadium Tour East, we visited Florida, Texas, Missouri, Indiana, and now Minnesota. So it is nice to be getting back to Florida. You know, these they can get all the trucks are going to just go back to the shop, get them fixed up, and get them ready for March 11th. As they, they, these, these drivers have got a, quite a long ways off until their next show. As their next show, guys, is not for another or, um, you know, around 23 days. So they've got a lot of time out to get these trucks back to the shop, fix them up, and have them ready to go for Orlando on March 11th. Everything, please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as the next stop on Stadium Tour East comes out. Alrighty, bye-bye, everybody. Have a God-blessed night. We'll see you all soon for some more Monster Jam action. Peace out. Good, 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 good